Hi, my name is Kristen McGinty Minister. I'm coming into my last year on a professional doctorate in sport and exercise psychology, and my research tends to focus on psychological flourishing, well being, and organizational psychology. Hi, I'm Laurie Swetnam and I'm coming to the end of my professional doctorate in sport and exercise psychology and mostly work at the moment within football, tennis and esports. So we've written a chapter titled The Evolving Role of the Sports Psychologist and the myth that their sole role is to fix athletes. So we really wanted to create this chapter to bring an awareness to the many sides that are now to the role of the sports psychologist. So when we first started our training, we thought our work would mostly be working one-to-one -one with athletes to support their performance and well-being. But of course, as we've gained experience within the field and within performance systems in particular, we've started to recognise that for the sports psychologists to be effective, we must be working alongside coaches and staff members within these performance systems so that we can really create an environment that is living and breathing psychology on a day-to-day -day basis. So within the chapter, we'll discuss the importance of not just working at an individual level, but at a systems level as well, so that we can really be proactive in the work that we're doing. We'll share some of our own experiences and we'll discuss how psychology can live within a performance environment and provide some recommendations that you might be able to use as you move forward. So we really hope that you enjoy the chapter and please do get in touch if you have any questions or feedback.